so in this video we're going to validate json responses using json validators so in this example we're fetching users.json that's going to return a list of users and finally we're getting users array and if we iterate over the array and print the users you can see the users objects in the console log so each user is having some properties like id name age and address now before processing these user objects we should definitely validate the structure of json files right the question is how to validate these objects uh, one way to validate the user structure is using some conditional statement like if user.id and user.name in this way you can check that but if the structure of your response is very complex then this type of conditional statements are not really good right if we know the structure of the object we can easily validate that using json schema so the first step is to write a json schema like this we have written this json schema in another video we have seen how you can write a simple json schema like this so this json schema is basically the structure of the json files the user should have an id and id should be string age should be integer like that you should definitely check out that video if you want to know more about json schema and how to write json schema so in this video we're going to use this json schema to validate our response all right we have to use some json validators for that if you go to json schema.org uh, and go to implementations and validators you will find uh, different validators for different languages we're using javascript so click on javascript you will find a lot of different validators you can use any of these i actually tried ahv uh, if you go to the project this is a very simple validator you can easily install it npm install agav i have already installed it if you check my packages and files this agv is there so we're going to use this so the first thing is that you have to import it right import agav from agav then you have to create one instance i'm going to create one instance agav so new agav we need to create one validator function let's call it validate so this is one function we can get this validate function from ajv.compile so we have to compile our schema so we have this schema so definitely we have to import it and pass it to the compile function to get the validator so let's import it first import user schema let's call it user schema from user schema you have to pass that schema in the compile function to get one validate function so this validate function can be used to validate our user objects if we validate it validate the user it is going to return true or false we are going to log it let's see if our users are correct or not you can see first two users are true third one is false so what is happening what is the error message log the object as well and also you can access the error message using validate dot errors all right so the first one is the object second one is the error messages you can see the third object is wrong what is the problem the messages must have required property id so you can see that this in the third object id is not there and that is why it is throwing error and also one more tip uh, if you go to the uh, json schema.org you can check the schema generators so the schema that we're using here user schema.json the schema can be generated from your sample json files so you don't have to write it as well using some schema generator you can generate the schema and you can use that so i have not tried it yet but if you want to know about uh, schema generators let me know i will definitely create another video for that so i hope you have found something useful in the video if you liked it please hit like and thanks for watching